Today, I'm gonna talk about that elephant. Yeah, that's right. I'm gonna talk about the elephant. You get up close and personal and a little bit messy and I'm talking about the elephant. Taking on the elephant by storm. Before we go any further, fam, you hear those bells? You hear those bells? When you hit the subscribe button and that bell. Ring that bell like it's a carillon. Ring. Today, I'm gonna talk about that elephant. Yeah, that's right. I'm gonna talk about the elephant. You get up close and personal. Hello, font fam, let me know in the comments below, what should I name the metaphorical elephant? Give me a good name for the metaphorical font sound elephant. I was at a gathering of colleagues. Uh, we'll while and we'd be walking around, we'd run into somebody and we'd have a great conversation. Hey, what's going on? Blah, blah, blah. Oh, it's so good to see you. Blah, blah. I really like your necktie. Oh, blah, blah, blah. And then that person walked away, we'd go and look at each other and be like, After a while, I started to notice something happening to me. Now, I'm really self-conscious. I'm really nervous. And I'm really insecure. Concerned about what other people think about me. And then I started to wonder. I think that when we're around our colleagues, we do two things. First, we pump ourselves up to sound really big. Like, we're like one of those birds that like pulls its plumage to look bigger than it actually is to attract more birds. And because we do that, others around us start to compare themselves and they feel inadequate. So they have to preen and pull at their own feathers to make their plumage look even bigger. And then when that doesn't work, we have to start squashing people down to maintain our size. But the reality is, we don't need to do any of that. He's like, when you look in the mirror, remember that you're seeing the image and likeness of God. Because that's who you are. You were created in the image and likeness of God. Before you go and throw shade at another colleague when they walk away, even if it's well-meaning, even if it's prefaced by a compliment or some positive remark, take a word of advice from my stepfather. My stepfather used to say this. If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it at all. And you know what? My stepfather was right. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. If you don't have anything nice to say, what's that doing for anybody to lead them to Jesus? What's that doing for anybody to bring out that image and likeness of God that's dwelling within them? Hey, Font fam, let me know in the comments below. What did you think about this video? And how would the world be different if we stop for a second, and instead of throwing shade, we threw sunlight. Do you hear that? You hear that? You hear that? That's the sound of an elephant pitter patter, pitter patter, trampling out of the room, running away. Thanks for watching, Font Fam. I'll see you at the Font. Bye!